Hello you, whoever you are, and welcome to my channel. My name is Alex, and behind me we have Harley and Ruby. As you can tell, we're all kind of in a lethargic mood over here. It's also dark in here, the one light, I need to turn it off so it's not making the lighting look weird, but it kind of made the house dark since it's cloudy outside. Oh well, extra spooky for the spooky season. I have no specific plan for this, but I wanted to do a Barbie transformation since Halloween is upon us. I thought it might help inspire one of you girls out there. The great thing about Barbie and why I decided to pick that is you could be anything, quite literally. <laughs> is that lame? I'm sorry. I decided I wanted to go with like a pink disco theme, kinda? Maybe pink rave, maybe? Does Barbie rave? <laughs> I think to begin, I am going to get changed into the outfit because we're doing the full thing today. I even put nails on to try to match what we're doing here. And I have bought a couple accessories. The accessories don't necessarily match, but whatever. This is the outfit we're going for. Okay. <laughs> I have tried it on once. It's a little bit odd fitting, but it's the only thing I have. And this is certainly not gonna do, so I'll be right back in a second, I guess. <laughs> this is what it looks like. And the problem I'm having with it on my thighs, it's a bit too tight and the legs are just a little too short. <laughs> they go up pretty high when I bend my knees. I mean, I'm fucking putting my knee how high, but that's so you guys can see. Yeah. Anyway. I don't know. I bought it, so I'm gonna wear it. <laughs> but it is, I don't know. The fabric feels nice. The zipper, Oh, you can't even see me. I'm gonna come sit. The fabric feels nice. I like that the straps are adjustable. That is a nice touch as well. And the fabric is like kind of stretchy, which is nice and good since it does fit kind of tight on my legs. Like I'm surprised that's the only place it fits tight. Usually I feel like I get, if it's tight on my legs, it's tight like in my abdomen or something, but it's, yeah, it's not too bad. I do wish they were a little longer though. This was off of Doll's Kill, by the way. I know some of you are probably cringing. They've got a chokehold on me, some of their in-house brands. Oh, they come out with such cute stuff. <laughs> uh, to even get it off of like eBay or whatever, with the exchange and everything, I end up paying the same amount that I'd pay on the site or more, because the site ends up having sales like every single day. Anyway, now we've got the outfit on. I guess I'll wait until the end to do accessories and the wig, and we will continue with the makeup and get through that. I'll make sure it doesn't take too long. You guys are new to how I do my makeup, probably. I don't usually use foundation, and I'm not going to use foundation today. I know I have some breakouts going on, and you're probably like, oh. I am gonna use concealer to cover those up, but otherwise, yeah, no foundation. I don't like it. I touch my face too much. Touch my face too much? I touch my face too much. As it is wearing blush and stuff like that, I end up getting it on shit, like my phone and my fingers and everything. <laughs> so yeah, no foundation. Not to say you can't wear foundation. You can be anything. <laughs> Since you're a Barbie girl. I'll stop. <laughs> All right, I'm going to use the Pure Least Perfect Glow BB Concealer in Light. This is just a little sample from Ipsy. I do not use much of it, so that's why I like to use the sample ones. It saves money. They're only like $3, better than spending like 40. I've done that before. I bought skin tints and stuff. I don't really use them that much and yeah, the fuckers cost like 50 bucks. Why do I do this? I don't know. I get suckered into the thought that it's gonna be like found, or uh, not foundation. It's gonna be like moisturizer, but it never is. It's like moisturizer and foundation mixed together. It's still gonna leave a layer on your face, obviously. Some of them don't look that great. Like the one Fenty Beauty blur tint, their skin tint. I had tried it in the shade light, I think. And uh, it just, it gave the look of texture all over my face, even though there was none. 
there suddenly was thanks to that. And it wasn't just in dry areas, it was in general, just anywhere that the skin tint was. Kind of tricky with nails on. <laughs> eh, good enough, doesn't have to be perfect. Hmm, I think we're gonna go sparkly today. I haven't used this for a little bit and I've only used it once and I loved it. And this is the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner in Disco Daydream. I don't know if my camera will even do it justice, but it is amazing looking in person. It's so sparkly. It looks so good. So I'm gonna put this all over my eyelid and then I'm gonna slap some lashes on, I think. Hmm, it's kind of doing something funky here. When I try to uh, spread it with my fingers, it's getting all stuck on my hand. I remember being more impressed by this when I tried it before. Did I put too much on? Well, it's there. <laughs> I think maybe I'll do some eyeliner too. I'm going to use the House Labs High Power Pigment Paint in Black Onyx Matte. And I like to use this, which is unfortunately a Morphe brush, the M217. It's a thin angled brush. It was the only one I could find at Sephora. I don't remember seeing any other ones and if I did, they might've been like way too expensive. This one was only $7, $8, something like that. I don't like Morphe though. This is literally the only thing for Morphe I had and that's because I didn't want to spend too much money on a brush. <laughs> I just like, I know, I'm sorry. Fucking we can't all be perfect, all right? Going to quickly do this. I don't know what the hell is going on here. It's not applying like it usually does. I'm guessing it's the, all the sparkles. Uh, I don't know if there's even a point to me adding eyeliner. You guys aren't even gonna see some of it. Okay, it's kinda intense. <laughs> I've wanted to do a bigger eyeliner because the eyelashes I'm gonna put on are pretty big. But yeah, I went, I did I go too far? Yeah, I don't know. They're quite the cat eye. I must say. So I'm going to use some Lash Pop lashes. I don't know which ones these are, but they're the only ones I could find right now that are in good shape. So this is what we're going with. We're beyond a budget. <laughs> I bought new eyelashes too and I fucking lost them. I lost a whole four pack that had three brand new pairs left. I have no idea where they went. I've looked everywhere. <laughs> well, obviously not everywhere because they are somewhere, but you know, I will be right back. I won't bore you with putting lashes on. I wasn't kidding about them being kind of intense. <laughs> I'm sorry, just looking at myself, it's just black up there. This is what we're going with, okay? It's too late to turn back now. <laughs> Hopefully you guys will learn from my mistakes and not use such intense lashes. Or maybe this is the look you're going for, who knows? Okay, right, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Ebony on my eyebrows, obviously. Just gonna brush it through real quick, fast. Okay, there we go, that's one. Love how quick it is to use this. Oh, that sh this shit can be tricky when you first buy it, when it's new and the formula is still pretty wet, but after it starts to dry a little bit, it is awesome. And even if you get a little bit on your skin, if it's a little bit dry, you get some on the skin and it gives it like the look of when you use their powder, but it also coats the actual hairs itself. It's nice. I like it. We've done eyebrows, we've done the eyes. I suppose we could do the blush now. For the blush, I am going to use Tarte uh, Maracuja. <laughs> um. <laughs> I am such an idiot. Their Juicy Blush in Big Ego got like a very fine silver shimmer in it. It's almost like a highlighter and blush in one. It's cream. I'm sure you could tell. Okay. So this will probably take my foundation off, or uh, not foundation, concealer. I might have to touch up on that after. Oh my God, I put so much on by accident. Whoopsie. We're going for sunburnt apparently. <laughs> Since this is like a highlighter, I did want to bring it all in here. I do like draping in general. I think it looks nice. 
And some on my nose. I don't know. What do we think? <laughs> too much? Maybe too much. Well, if it's a disco Barbie, maybe it's not too much. I could probably add sparkles too if I really wanted to. Next, I am going to use the Romand Juicy Lasting Tint. Yeah, in number 26, Very Berry Pink. So this is packaging looks like. So my camera battery died. It has been a couple hours. I just reapplied some of the juicy lasting tint that I showed you guys. This was all I was gonna do. I don't know why it had to die on me like that. It is now time for the finishing touches. Or no, it's not. <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> it's time for me to put my wig and shit on. Cause that's all I'm doing for makeup. Like I said, easy peasy. Did I say it was easy peasy? I wasn't doing much that. And if we're going with Barbie, Barbie doesn't wear a whole bunch of makeup. She probably wears foundation. <laughs> Gonna pretend like she's lazy, like me. Lazy Barbie. <laughs> sure. This. this should help with the wig not slipping so much. Although it does kind of make it shiny underneath the wig. But it works with this one because it's blonde. Okay, I look crazy. <laughs> the wig really makes it work, doesn't it? It's like true tramper transformation happening there. And then finally the accessories. Now I can actually say that. So I got this. This I bought on Amazon with this. They were supposed to be made out of the same material. They are not. <laughs> not even close. That one's just like plain white on this side. But this one's a, a clear iridescent. This is what I wanted! But I'm gonna wear this anyway just because I don't have anything else or a necklace to wear. Maybe I should have put this on before I put my wig on. Hello? What do we think? Does it work? It's jingly at least. I also have these. They're not the same color. I tried, guys. But <laughs> yeah, whatever. I'll make it work. We're gonna wear them like this. Because my eyelashes are too big for the sunglasses, I think. I'm not even gonna bother. They're gonna hit it, I feel like. Or I'll have to have it halfway down my nose. Um, excuse me. Or are they just gonna fall down the whole time now? <laughs> <laughs> my pups are starting to fight, so that's my cue to get out of here, I think. That is the completed Barbie look. What did you guys think? Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.